Hey, welcome to my new pick manufacturing plant, which is uh, actually in the kitchen. <laughs> my wife hates me right now. Oh, man. But one of my subscribers uh, got me off on this thing. I had ordered some V picks, which are pretty expensive. So this is the uh, actually one that they gave me for free with my order. This is a switchblade, which I used as my template to make my pick. And I wasn't going to do this video until I made my pick, or this is my third experiment, and it actually played so well and sounded so good with pinch harmonics that were way easier than what I could get with the stubby. Here's the stubby that I like so much, the two millimeter. And uh, originally when I realized that this was Lexan and how good the tone was, I wanted to, this is my thumb pick, I wanted to try to get somebody or get a thumb pick that was made out of Lexan that was a little thicker and would last longer. Well, it turns out this is polycarbonate, which is Lexan. I don't know, this must be a, a different uh, variety or something because these really don't wear very good. So I was looking for long wear, good playability, fast, pinch harmonics, comfort, but I prefer the thumb pick even though I have to do all kinds of weird things to do these because I have to put fake nails on right here it's because the way I play my guitar, I rub my nail thin on my strings when I play with a thumb pick. So I decided to switch back to a regular pick. Either way, here's the deal. Here's how you can make a very good pick, pick that you may use for the rest of your life, for four cents. And here is my pick. And I don't know... If you can see it that good. Let's try back background here. If you look at the tip, it's nice and rounded. You can see it's pretty rough looking. Whoops, darn it. Excuse me. But it doesn't matter. It's still smooth. Still plays well. I don't know if you can see the tip, but uh, the tip is very close to the same tip you get with a V pick. And what I did, you see the sheet of Lexan. Um, you get that at Home Depot. Actually, uh, they didn't have the smaller sheet, which was only $4. So they sold me this big sheet for half off, which I'm just telling you, in case they don't have the small sheet, you might try the same thing. So I got this big sheet, which uh, I measured will make 153 picks. 153 picks for seven dollars and some cents and it turns out uh, that comes out to about four cents a pick so I just took my little sharpie put my pick on there you want to start out with this this is the this is the V pick you want I mean you could use any kind of pick you can use this pyramid which is somewhat the same size about the same as you can see just uh, my picks a little bit bigger this is the, the thinnest Lexan they make which is what they make uh, stubbies out of it's a uh, .093 inches which is 2.6 millimeters so that's pretty much right between the 2 millimeter and the 3 millimeter stubby which works out perfectly so what you do, you take your template, pretty easy, I'm not going to go through the whole process, but like I said, you want to be sure you start with a pointy blank. Take my thing and just trace around. And this, this part up here doesn't have to be perfect, and you can see I kind of scratched it up a little bit from the last pick. Now this is where you might want to get a little more creative 
what I did was I, I have a Dremel, you can see. This is the barrel sander that I tried for a while. It's not easy to control, so I got away from that. Here, I will take this off. Now, you might have better tools than me, but this is all I could find. If you could find something that cuts that Lexan, actually, VPix has a laser cutter, which is nice. I'm sure that thing probably cost $20,000. Cuts out a huge sheet in a few minutes. And uh, so if you have a bet, some kind of a saw or something, but what I used was just this attachment, this little grinding wheel or cutter, I guess, attachment. <coughs> on my Dremel. And I'm just going to do a little bit. And you want to be sure you got some decent working area. I've got this clamp in my way right now. And you got to be a little bit careful and go semi fast you'll, you'll get the hang of it because it'll melt a little bit see nah, I kind of hung up but you can see you just cut it around you can sand it smooth afterwards I do use this afterwards to get rid of this big thick hangy stuff that ends up as a result of the, the way I cut it. But I just go at a 45 degree angle all the way around first just to knock those edges off. And you end up with a blank like this. Let's see. Let me, I'm gonna raise this up real quick. So hold on so you can get the full vision here. Sorry, I'm not too organized here. I don't recommend you do this in the kitchen. It makes a dusty mess. Either way, here's my little work area. There's my sheet of Lexan. Like I said, they make a... This is normally uh, 14 something dollars. They uh, I tried all kinds of methods of buffing. I'll show you. You don't need to do all that. This is what I used. Uh, quadruple zero... Ot, whatever you call it, uh, steel wool, four zeros, fine steel wool, and this little sanding block was I just used for painting. This usually locks in here, but pieces a little small. I don't know what kind of sandpaper that is, but actually, after I rake this thing across the strings, it, it's got a few little edges on there. But you uh, take your block. And you just don't worry about this top edge because it's it's nice and thick and it doesn't matter if it's tapered or anything just as long as it's not sharp. You just take this, go at a 45 degree angle like that on all the sides till you get it get the you know the seam to match or meet in the middle, which seems very easy to do to get it. And then I also go across this way perpendicular I guess to the tip a little bit to give you that uh, v-pick tip and it comes out perfectly so you just and you can experiment and taper these as much as you want I mean the uh, stubbies are quite rounded and the that could affect the speed of the pick so you might want to experiment a little bit but I didn't I only took a few minutes to just get it halfway beveled across the tip like that. Buffed it up with steel wool. And that was it. You got a Lexan pick for about four cents. And I'm serious. If you watch my video, it's extended uh, FM2. Uh, F uh, what is it? FM2. The, the Germanium Mini Fuzz Face demo I have an extended version called the long version um, that I just put on YouTube yesterday and if you watch the whole thing you'll see there's some serious pinch harmonics in there which I was really surprised were so easy to get with this pick and at 2.6 millimeters here it's really comfortable it uh, 
you know it's it's just it's fast comfortable sounds great i i've played it all night I haven't worn it down at all like i said i put a few little scratches in when i ran it down the strings which that'll do that to any pick but uh give it a shot i'm telling you 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 probably only need to make one pick every month and that's four cents a month and you save yourself a lot of money and you can make whatever you want if you don't like this style make some experiment I've got a couple of experiments that my kids laughed at they actually had a purpose I was trying to copy trying to copy the tip I actually did copy this tip on my thumb pick exactly and that's one of my next experiments which I was seriously thinking about going into making these picks but I'd rather just play kind of crazy to even think about it but because you would have to make an investment in all those cutters and all that stuff to and there's so many people out there making picks but uh, give it a shot I mean go listen to that video of mine I'm about halfway, three quarters of the way. There's several sections there where I'm doing the pinch harmonics. And I thought it was easy with the stubby. But with this thing, it's almost automatic. I mean, it is killer. It's just a really good sound. So that's it. I hope this helps. See you later.